Sylvie, since almost the time she was born, we knew that she was just going to be very engaging, very opinionated and driven. Uh, she w was kind of like a little adult from the time she was two years old. Just an incredibly engaging child, very uh, driven. She's a uh, kind of self-taught uh, gymnast until we finally decided to put her in classes because uh, she was doing so well on her own, demanded that we buy her a mat. Um, so she's like a sponge. She always uh, wants uh, more information, very inquisitive, always asking questions. And she's going to be whatever it is that she wants to be because she has that drive, that willingness to fight for what she wants. Carolina kind of tricked us because uh, when she was a toddler, uh, she, was, she was pretty quiet, more reserved, started talking a little later than Sylvie did. So we thought, okay, this one was going to be more laid back. But as soon as she kind of realized what was going on and that she was the younger uh, sister, she started fighting for what's hers and uh, demanding uh, to be treated equally at home. And that's exactly uh, the way she still is today. She's now five. Uh, she um, uh, likes ballet. Uh, she is getting uh, into art. She's starting to draw a lot. And she's like the mayor of her elementary school. Uh, very loving. Everyone comes up to her, uh, gives her a hug. Uh, she's um, uh, always wants to be with her friends, very social. Uh, Carolina always wants someone to play with her, and a lot of times that means me, uh, which is just awesome. But uh, uh, she's, um, she's, she's also, uh, I can tell, going to be successful at whatever uh, it is she wants to do because she believes in herself. Uh, she, um, she always tries her hardest, and uh, she's just a, a spunky, fun little girl. I tell my girls that they can do whatever they want and as they grow and identify different interests I always encourage them to try everything whether it's soccer or gymnastics or art class or math club whatever it is that they like that they're drawn to I want them to pursue it and I want my daughters to choose whatever career it is they want whether it's to be a mechanic uh, a ballerina, uh, an architect, a teacher, whatever it is, I think that is the best thing we can do for everyone in our society, but especially for young women who for a long time were limited, uh, were not given uh, the same opportunities. Uh, the best thing we can do is create a society and um, create laws and rules that are fair so that everyone can advance, everyone can flourish everyone can strive to do whatever it is that that calls them that drives them and that's what i want for my girls